dressed for the part. It was a night to celebrate Chanel designer Karl Lagerfeld's influence on the fashion world. Singapore's fashion elite were among 600 on a select guest list, including celebrities and international fashion press, who filled a reconstructed abandoned building for the unveiling of Chanel's 2014 cruise collection. It's the first time the city has been chosen for such a show, and the choice reflects the rising influence of Asian consumers of luxury brands, a reality Chanel's creative director is all too aware of. You know, the market is important for everybody, not only for Chanel, and for Vuitton, for everybody, huh? because uh, they love fashion, they love European labels, and the future of the world is more around here than in the old dusty Europe. The Asian market has been growing in the double digits for Chanel and many of its European counterparts. Europe's economic problems has meant many of its luxury brands are now looking to Asia. And even though the brand's clothes are out of the reach of many here, not so for Asia's wealthy buyers. Last time um, Carl was here in Singapore, that was in the 80s. Wow. And I actually have a t-shirt, especially autographed by him. So that's why tonight I'm dressing up to pay a tribute to him. The Singapore edition of Carl. It's amazing that the show is in Singapore. I absolutely reaffirm Singapore's position as a fashion capital of Asia, not just Asia, actually globally. Now, scenes like this fashion show are commonplace in fashion capitals like London, Paris, and New York, but increasingly they're happening in places like Singapore. As Asia's economies grow and Europe starts to slow, luxury fashion houses like Chanel and others are increasingly looking to the Asian consumer to boost sales. Sharon Jit Lail, BBC News, Singapore.